Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and today we're gonna start a little series on technology. Now we all love to take a lot of technology out into the field these days. We've got our GPS devices, cell phones, uh, whatever else it might be, cameras if you wanna uh, video things along the way. So we're gonna talk a little bit about today about how I keep batteries charged. Now a lot of devices like say an iPhone or a lot of the newer GPS's have built-in uh, rechargeable batteries. Uh, the newer uh, Garmin Oregon, for example, has a rechargeable battery. You just plug it up USB and it'll recharge it. Uh, now I have an older GPS. I have a, a Garmin Oregon. It's a 450T, but it has regular batteries in the back, just AA batteries. Now I really like my GPS. There's no reason for me to change it, but a set of AA batteries probably lasts about a day when you're out there on the trail. Uh, it really can use up the batteries, particularly if you're using the GPS a lot, setting waypoints. Um, you can work with it, try to keep the display as low on energy as possible. And uh, I put it on uh, display save or battery save so that the screen actually goes off uh, every 10 seconds. And when I need it, I just push the button or push the screen and it'll come back up. So it's a touch screen, but how do I get batteries uh, to recharge. I could carry just a bunch of extra AA batteries. They can get pretty heavy. And then of course the old ones I have to pack back out. So it's not the best thing in the world. So how can I get batteries recharged? Now the first thing I did was try to get a battery recharger. And I went out on Amazon and I bought this. It's called the Sunjack. You can see it right here. Um, it'll recharge four AA batteries and it will also uh, it's got these little little bottoms here that basically will adapt either to a double A or a triple A so you can charge both really simple plug it in via USB you can plug it into the wall and of course it will charge very quickly uh, I can take this and use a power stick or a portable battery and just plug it into that some of the newer ones like the RAV power which is the one I'm most interested in buying coming up has a lot of power in it and can recharge these batteries probably several times over, can recharge my GoPro batteries and all that stuff. And I'll probably purchase one of those, but what if I wanted to have a way to get batteries charged on a multi-day trip where I don't have to be messing around with um, new batteries or whatever it might be. So my solution was um, solar. And there are a lot of solar chargers out there. I didn't really want to spend a lot and I kept an eye on eBay. And eventually I scored, and I don't know exactly how much I paid, I don't remember, but I scored this Goal Zero Nomad 7. And I'll do a little close up here in a second and we'll weigh it. But you can see basically it's foldable. You open it up, it's got two solar panels. And up here it's got a, a little uh, folder or a little envelope to hold um, any charging batteries or charging cores that you need and it's got a plug plug up here for a 12 volt as well as um, USB to plug up any USB devices now this particular uh, sorry I saw something <laughs> driving by caught my attention um, this can charge my iPhone in full Sun in probably uh, an hour and a half or two hours so it's, it's actually pretty good it does come with this little carabiner on top you can clip it to the top of your pack It'll just kind of lay along the back of your pack and get sun as you're hiking and it can recharge just about anything. Now I like it because it can charge my phone. My GoPro batteries are rechargeable via USB so I can recharge it with this. And in addition, if I do carry those power sticks or rechargeable batteries, I can actually recharge those via USB with this. So during the day as I'm hiking, I can actually recharge those um, power packs and then at night I can recharge my devices as needed and every day recycle and get more power through my solar. Now it does increase the amount of weight that I carry. Uh, I'm okay with that. Some people may not be okay with that, but that's how I choose to do it. So anyway, what we're gonna do now real quick, I'm gonna move the camera. We're gonna take a look, a little bit closer look at each of these products. We're gonna weigh them so you can see how much they are. And after that, we'll come back and just kind of wrap up. So let's check them out a little more in detail. All right guys, so here we are. We've got a couple of things here we're gonna weigh. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys, just so that you know, here's my scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and weigh my 
Garmin, just for those who are interested. Now this does have two AA batteries in it, so this is with the batteries themselves. And you can see, I'll zoom in just a little bit, that it's 7.25 ounces. Now again, that's my Garmin um, Oregon 450T with two batteries in place, and that's how much it weighs. Now it does use uh, two AA batteries, so we use, I do use this Sunjack. Y'all can get a little bit better view at it here. And you can see here what I was talking about. It has these little ports and you pull this out and it just pops right in and it'll easily. And then when it's charging up here, you'll see a um, indicator that it's charging. And in a second here, even through the window, of the, uh, the light of the window, we will try to see if we can get the solar charger to work. First, I'm gonna take these AA batteries out, and I'll go ahead and weigh the sun jack, and I am gonna include the um, connected wire so that we have an idea of how much it will cost uh, weight-wise to take out on the trail. So as you can see, we're looking at 3.55 ounces for this particular, um, charger. You'll add, I always carry two sets of batteries. One is always already over in there. This is 1.5 ounces for another set of rechargeable AA batteries. So normally what I'll be carrying at once, because one set of AA batteries will be in my GPS. So normally the Sun Jack with one set of AA batteries is a grand total of 5.1 ounces. Now, to charge that, like I said, we use this Goal Zero, as you guys can see. It's pretty nice construction. Uh, it does have a carabiner here on top to hold it. Um, on the sides, to hold it to the side of your backpack if you want, it has a couple of loops, and you'll see how that is in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit, and we'll open this up. It's got a very strong Velcro, and here is the charge controller area. Uh, the side there, you can see where the USB plugs up. This again is just a little um, pouch where you can hold um, the sun jack or uh, I usually just keep the wires in there because I really don't want the profile of the actual uh, charger to be too thick. And then you open up and here you go are the two solar panels. You can see there in the background, there I am. And so these are the two solar panels. You can hang this up as I said. Uh, we'll look at the back here so there's not as much glare but you can see there's these little um, loops here that you can easily hang it from the side of your backpack. So I'm gonna try to set this up real quick and see if we can get a charge out of it. So I'll be right back. Actually, before we do that, guys, let's go ahead and weigh this thing so y'all can see how much the Goal Zero weighs. I'll zoom in a little bit more. It's certainly fairly heavy. It's 13.65 ounces, which is, Pretty heavy, like I said, but at the same time, when you start to account for having to carry multiple batteries on a really long trip, the ability to recharge is uh, something that's uh, really nice and in the end probably equates in weight compared to carrying lots of batteries. Now, not everybody wants to recharge all of their stuff. If you're super ultra light, then you're not going to worry about bringing a camera or bringing your cell phone or recharging batteries. Now, for me, that's part of what I do. Um, not just for this channel, but just for family memories. We always take cameras with us and it's something that's important to us. So uh, the weight's not a problem for me. Uh, it may be for some people, but I'm just giving you information on what I use so you can uh, decide whether you want to or not. So like I said, I'm gonna take this down and see if we can't get a charge. All right, guys, so here we are outside, and you can see right here the sun jack. Uh, there's a little blue light right here that will indicate charge. So the minute that I open this up, and I'll say that it's right now about 4.45 in the afternoon, and it's uh, definitely winter, so the sun is already pretty low on the horizon. But once I open this up, you'll automatically see that we get a charge here, and you can clearly see. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but there are red lights on here and here. Those red lights are indicating that we are getting, uh, starting to get a charge on these batteries. Uh, those 
lights will stay red until they turn green. Once they turn green, then I'll have a full charge on the batteries. But this is just to show you guys that it's pretty easy to get a solar charge out of even a late afternoon sun. So we'll go back in and finish up. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes the video today looking at how I keep in particular AA or AAA batteries charged when I'm out in the outdoors. I hope you guys have noticed I have a new microphone. I uh, purchased that recently trying to increase the um, quality of the pictures and I'm playing around with some lights today but I've recently ordered a more professional lighting kit. Try to get the actual videos looking nicer as well. So anyway, doing that to try to help you guys enjoy the videos more and get things better on the channel and overall just improve the uh, professionalism of the channel the best I can. Got a lot of things planned. If there's any uh, videos anybody would like, you can always request it on my page or um, whatever it may be. Uh, I restarted my blog. It's paleohikermd.com. You can go there. I have uh, blogs about the paleo diet. I have all my videos from YouTube and everything else and a pretty good community built up. And I also have a Facebook page, which is Paleo Hiker MD as well. I hope you guys will check those out, like and subscribe, do all those things. I do ask you guys to subscribe to the channel, keep us going and keep us motivated to make more videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys will stay tuned for the improvements and the quality for the channel here coming up. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Have a good weekend. Thank you.